we've made a wee bit diversion for the for the trail now, but I think it's worth seeing. This is what the armory of folk call the Shipper Stain. That's that's one of them anyway, John. You see the shape of it. Uh -huh. And there's the other one there. Uh -huh. That's broken in three parts at the moment. Uh -huh. But it was something it would be something similar to this. And the, the legend is that the uh, two adjoining shepherds or landowners uh, had a dispute about their land and they, they, they had a, a battle royal, they fought, they took their jackets up and Both had a scrap, uh -huh. but they injured each other so, so badly, they were taken to hospital and both of them died, so they really killed each other, <laughs> but that's, that's the story anyway. Uh -huh. and some see that uh, they lie buried under these stains, but uh -huh. I think that's, that's yeah. not the case. It would have been documented if that had been the case. But it's quite funny. Mm. But there's another theory, and I think it's made plausible, and I, I really think that the real story, because these stones are a lot older than just uh, the, the dispute that there would be with the farmers. And really, when you think about it, that dispute it's feasible because that line of hedges there yeah, yes. and the tree uh -huh. was a right for the Stanley Fern. That would be the line of the old road and yes. the traces uh, are there to be seen. Yes, I've turned around and followed it because uh -huh. this is up there, the, the hedge so, either side. So there's the hedge and that goes out that high hill uh -huh. and doing a steep slope on the other uh -huh. side. Uh -huh. So that was quite a, that'd be quite a haul for a uh -huh. person cart. Uh -huh. And I reckon that sometime or other, uh, it was diverted round the contour of the hill. Oh, oh, this, uh, th this is the nursery road behind yes, here, uh -huh. and it was diverted round the contour of the hill to make it easier for the, uh -huh. the traffic. And it would, I think that these stones would be discovered then when they were excavating that uh -huh. new part of the, the new bypass. The and uh, when they were removing them to the side, one of them got broken. I think that's the thing. Now, the reason that these might be there. And I don't think they're natural stones. I think they're. I think it's concrete. Uh -huh. That we'll see in a wee while in the rest of your trail. Just over the hill there uh -huh. is a farm called the Black Dubs, uh -huh. oh, it's and it's dull. now it's now called Nether Eye. I'll see it. But we'll maybe see it nearer uh -huh. along the trail. And uh, that farm called Nether House now, uh, it once had a conventicle. Uh, the Covenanters during the early uh, the Covenanters wars. And they were, uh, it was a religious uh, practices that were banned by the by the English wanting bishops and the kirk and this sort of thing. Uh -huh. So they had the, they had they were illegal and they had to go into these various places and they ha held a conventicle at Black Dub's farm just over the hill. Uh -huh. And uh, here are the dragoons that were stationed at White Swine Abbey, just heading towards East Whitburn. Uh -huh. They got the wind of this, and I think they came galloping up the East Whitburn, which isn't very far from here, no. across the fields. Uh, and they say that the, the conventicle people, they, they dispersed into the boggy ground, and the horses and the dragoons couldn't follow them. However, they fired at them, and there was one man, James Davey, his name was an armadillo chap, although there was no armadillo at that time, for the locality, uh, he was killed. And that was the sea, the first fatality in that covenant in the war. Mm -hmm. And that lad is buried in Bathgate, the old cemetery at Bathgate, uh, Kirkton Park. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, this would be in the parish of Bathgate, you see, at that mm -hmm. time. So I think that these stains were, uh, were excavated in a, a gibbet, that's a, a, a hanging tree, yes. was put up. And uh, this would be, I, I think, and others think as well, that this would be the upright that be dug into the ground, you see. That would be the upright, there would be another one, maybe ten feet away, and then there would be a cross tree huh? with all these hangman's uh -huh. ropes all hanging uh -huh. as a warning to the local folk uh -huh. <laughs> to, be, to behave themselves. Yeah. Uh -huh. but I think that's what that is. I don't think there was any, anybody ever hung there, uh -huh. or that certainly would be uh -huh. well known, and that would be documented. Uh -huh. But I think this is a relic uh -huh. these days. Which was in 1673. Oh, that's right. Well, that was back quite a bit. So when you see Armadale wasn't even here at the time. Armadale wasn't here at that time.